What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Out here in the shop, it's raining again a little bit. Um, anyway, I got the new tires in for the Dodge right here that we put the winch on. And uh, I was going to take these uptown and get somebody else to mount them and balance them, but uh, that just not worked out in my schedule. Um, at least for today. I might could do it tomorrow, but then it's supposed to be pouring down raining. Um, I think, at least I think so. Anyway, so I'm going to see what I can do with it tonight, and uh, I'm going to do it like I always do, I guess. And so i got to get these here broke down. I've already got the air out of them, so that's what we're about to do now. Um, I've got, uh, these are a Turo a Trailblades, uh, is what these are. I didn't go back with the Toyo MTs, uh, because the price, uh, these are like 400 a piece, and those are like 250 a piece. So it's a pretty good cost difference and planning on putting the truck up for sale and even if I keep it um, another set of Toyos would probably dry right before they actually wore out no more than I drive the truck so um, I'm not towing with this truck uh, anymore since I got the other truck so it really does not make a whole lot of sense to spend extra money in this case although I really do like the Toyo tires and uh, so anyway, let's get started and uh, we'll get these rolled over to my old tire machine over here and get started. I'm going to start the tire machine up here.
is the only way I've been able to get this off so far is sticking a pry bar on the other side of that tire and that wheel to get it cocked out like that and then pressing down on it with a loader. I would not do that if this was a good tire that I was planning on reusing because it would probably damage the tire and the bead. Uh, but I'm not worried about it. These tires are junk. So this is the only way I can get them off. Uh, if I had a longer bar and a second person, I could probably get enough leverage to get them off of there. But by myself, uh, it's just not happening. Right, guys we got this uh balancing beads right here counteract eight ounces is what i'm using they come in a bag inside of a bag you throw this small bag here that comes in the big bag don't throw this in the tire this little one here is supposed to be made to break apart when the tire rolls and these are spread out inside the tire and uh balance the tire and it comes with a filtered valve stem core um, i did not get any new valve stems because i didn't have time so I'm just gonna leave the ones in there, it's in there. Uh, but anyway, that's a filtered core so that those little beads don't get up inside of here and plug it up, I suppose, when you're trying to air it up or release air or whatever. And it comes with a little red cap here that says counteract on it so that the tire service guy knows when he pulls this valve core out that it is a uh, bead balanced tire because uh, those things could shoot out of there with the air. Um, you know, I guess hit somebody in the face, put an eye out or something. Um, just safety precaution, I suppose. Um, anyway, oh, and as I said, I'm not too worried about scratching these rims up because they get pits in them anyway, so I'm sure somebody will comment about that. Um, it's really not worth it to do this yourself, though, but it's dark outside and there's no tire shop open, so that's the way we roll around here. We get the job done one way or the other. excessive amount to work just gooping everywhere and dropping inside the tire over the beads because it's going to be an issue. These tires here feel like they're softer than uh, uh, the Toyos, the sidewall and stuff is not as stiff on them. I can tell that just by uh, one little bit of handling. So it should go on pretty decent, I think. Get it air up now. Putting it on wasn't very hard. Getting the old tires off is a challenge. I 
I think these things are going to seat. That's the reason I'm going ahead and putting a valve core in there. Generally, if you leave that out, you get more airflow in the tire with that. But this is a 9 inch wheel, a 12 and a half inch tire, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. I'm going to get it to air up and seat. So I'll put it in there. I'm going to put 55 pounds on them and uh, use that as a starting point. I think I use it around about 50 in the Toyos. I'm going to go with 55 of these and uh, I'll let them down some if I need to. But I think that's going to be pretty close, somewhere around that range. Alright guys, I finally got all four of them mounted. Um, that took about three hours to do. And I'm not going to put them on the truck right now because it's like, uh, I think it's almost 2 a.m. And uh, I'm tired. So I'm going to wrap this video up here because I've got something else that I want to do with these anyway before I put them on the truck. Um, I'm kind of wanting to test fit them on the Duramax to see if they fit because I went with 33s on it because everybody told me they wouldn't fit. But after doing some trimming and everything and doing some measuring and I did a video on that uh, when I did that I think uh, well 35s fit on the 07 LBZ Duramax or something I don't remember the title it's on my channel somewhere you can search for it if you'd like um, anyway I think they'll fit but I don't know that for sure but I'm thinking about test fitting them because I would really like to have 35s on it I believe um, I know that's gonna hurt the towing a little bit but I'd really like 35s on a heavy duty truck on, you know, at least a single wheel truck. Um, I've always ran 35s on this truck and I really wanted to run 35s on that truck, but wasn't sure if they would fit and wound up going with 33s. I mean, the 33s are fine and everything, but I don't know. I just want to try to see if they'll fit. And um, so anyway, we might do that in a, another video before we put them on this truck and all that good stuff and check them out. But that's what they look like. Again, I don't think this is worth uh, the time and labor for most people, but there's not a tire shop open at uh, 1 a.m. And I want to go ahead and get it done. And so now I'm going to go in the house and take a shower, and we will see you guys in the next video.